Getting started on your Nexus One. Clicking on the phone shortcut brings up the phone's dial pad. You can enter a number you want to call and press the green phone button to dial. During a call, you can perform various actions using the in-call options, such as muting the line or linking to your Bluetooth device. Here, I'm putting the call on speaker. You can even access the other apps on your phone while on a phone call. Just click the home button to return to your home screen and then select another app. Let's take a look at Android Market. To get back to the in-call menu, slide the notifications bar down and select the current call. When you're done, press the red end button to hang up. You'll see the call appear in your call log. To view your call history, click the call log tab. Long pressing on any phone number in your call log will give you a list of options for that call. To remove an entry from your call log, select Remove from Call Log. To completely clear your call log, click the Menu button and select Clear Call Log. From the Call Log tab, you can also add numbers to your contacts. Long press on an entry and select Add to Contacts. You can assign the number to an existing contact by selecting that contact's name, choosing the type of number, in this case, I'm choosing Work, and pressing Done. If you communicate with some of your contacts more than others, you'll probably want to add them to your favorites. To add a contact to your favorites, long press on the entry in the Contacts tab and select Add to Favorites. Once a contact is added to your favorites, you can quickly call them by going to the Favorites tab and clicking the green phone button. To send a text message, click the messaging icon from your home screen and then choose New Message. In the To field, start typing one of your contacts. Any contacts that match should automatically appear below so you can easily select them and write them a message. When you first get your phone, you'll probably want to load it up with your favorite music and photos. Connect your phone to any computer using the included USB cable. When you're ready to transfer files, slide the notifications bar down and select USB Connected. Then choose Mount. Your computer should now detect your phone as an external hard drive. When you're done transferring files to your phone, slide the notifications bar down and click Turn Off USB Storage. Make sure that the device is ready for removal, and then choose Turn Off. You'll now be able to access the music, videos, and photos you've transferred to your phone through the music or gallery application. From the Contacts tab, you can view and manage your contacts. Scroll with your finger to browse the list. If you click on a contact, a box with contact options will pop up. To view details about a particular contact, just click on that contact's name. If you want to edit or delete a contact, long press on a name to bring up a contacts menu. To add a new contact, click the menu button and then choose New Contact. You can also access your contacts directly from your home screen through the Universal Search feature. Just begin typing in the name of a contact into the search widget, and any contacts that match that name will appear below. The Nexus One features an on-screen keyboard that automatically appears when you click on any text field. If you need to enter a symbol or number, click the key in the bottom left corner to switch keyboards. To start typing, use your index finger to select a letter. As you get used to typing with the on-screen keyboard, you can start using your thumbs to type even faster. If typing with your thumbs is just too slow, there is a faster way to enter text with your voice. Yay! And the phone will automatically convert it to text. Need to find an important message? but you can't remember who sent it or when it was sent, you can use the messaging search feature to search the contents of your messages. You're now ready to use your Google Nexus One. To learn more, you can find our Nexus One user guide, help forms, and help center at www.google.com phone 
support.